Hey, kindergartners. Today, I want to talk to you about our October learning learner profile. So every month at University Elementary, we have a different word that we're going to try to channel to help us with our learning. So our word this month is initiative. It's kind of a big word, but you can try to say it right now. Can you say initiative? Initiative. Initiative means set goals for ourselves and focus our efforts. So some of you might be wondering, what does that mean to set goals for myself? Well, I was thinking about something the other day. How did you learn how to ride a bike? Does anyone here know how to ride a bike? I know lots of you have told me that you've learned how to ride a bike. You had to set a goal for yourself when you were smaller to practice, practice, practice trying to learn how to ride your bike all by yourself. Or maybe before when you were younger, you didn't know how to write your name. You had to set a goal for yourself to practice, 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 focus your efforts on learning how to write your name. I'm going to show you a quick video about what it means to set goals and how we can start thinking about some goals we might have for ourselves during our year in kindergarten. All people have dreams, but how do we make those dreams real? At first, it may seem impossible, hmm. so let's start small. Setting a goal gives us a target that we want to reach. Setting smaller goals as part of a larger goal makes it easier to follow all the steps, so we're not trying to do everything at once. Each task takes work on its own. When we succeed at these smaller goals, it inspires us to keep working towards the long-term goal. If we try to reach our goal alone, it's easy to give up. Other people help encourage us and help us find easier ways to complete each task. Most goals require hard work and practice. Don't give up when the going gets tough. It can be discouraging. When you feel like giving up, take a step back. Think of how far you've come since you started. Is it really worth giving up all your progress? Remember why you started in the first place. Nothing matches the feeling of reaching your goals. So in that video just now, you saw that the girl in the video really wanted to learn how to play guitar. She set a goal for herself to want to learn how to play the guitar, and then she practiced her goal every single day she practiced her guitar, and then she was ready to play in, fr in front of a huge crowd. So today, I want you to really take a couple minutes to think about what are your goals for kindergarten? What do you want to get better at in kindergarten? I want you to think about many areas that we've been learning about in kindergarten. We can always get better at our math skills, at our writing skills, learning our alphabet and our letters and our letter sounds. We've also been practicing our critical thinking skills with our STEAM work, and we've been doing work with phonics. I mean, we have been doing so much work this year in kindergarten. So I want you to maybe close your eyes or take a couple moments of silence to think about something that you want to get better at this year in kindergarten. What do you want to get better at? Close your eyes or you can even pause this video. Think for a little bit. Hmm. When we set goals for ourselves, we want to make sure that it's achievable. That means that we can actually accomplish it. So if I were to say, if I, let's pretend that Mrs. Ferris is in kindergarten. And I wanted to set a goal for myself to be able to write 15 sentences all by myself. 
you know, that might be a little bit too big of a goal because by the end of kindergarten, we only need to be able to write about three sentences by ourselves. So I want to set a goal for myself that's achievable. That means that I can actually get it done. So today, I'm going to have a paper on your Canvas page, and if you can print it out, that would be awesome because I'm going to have you um, practice writing your goals. If you can't, you can just get a, um, one, of a, one of your writing pages from your writing folder, and you can use the lined paper on, in your writing folder to write your goal. I'm going to model it for you right now. Now, I don't want you to copy Mrs. Ferris's goal because I want you to set your own goal. But I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about. So here is my goal sheet. I have the title that says my goal a box for me to draw a picture, and then I have some lines down here where I can explain what my goal is. Down here it says accomplished, and then over here it says still improving. Now I already checked this box under still improving because I am going to write a goal right now about something that I can't do yet. So when I set a goal, I'm trying to express something that I cannot do yet. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in kindergarten and I'm going, to, I'm going to set a goal for myself. I think I'm going to set a writing goal. I'm going to quickly draw my picture and I'm going to have a paper in my hand because I'm going to draw or I'm going to write a writing goal. And I was thinking, and I want to be able to write at least two sentences. So I want to be able to write two sentences all by myself without, Mrs. without anyone's help, without my parents' help, without my teacher's help. So I'm going to pretend that my goal is to write two sentences by myself, all by myself. So I'll quickly label my paper, writing. I remember that writing starts with a W because I see that on Canvas every time I have a writing assignment. That's my goal is writing. So I can trace my letters just so I'm practicing writing my goal is and then I said I was going to say my goal is to write two sentences by myself so now I'm going to write it my goal is to write, got a sneaky W in my word write, two, two, Ooh, can't forget I gotta do a finger space, I'm kinda going quickly today. Sentences, sentences. Wait, what was I going to write again? Sometimes it's good to always reread it to yourself so you actually know what you're trying to say. My goal is to write two sentences. B -b 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 my self by myself my goal is to write two sentences by myself that is something that I'm still working on now if you can't write 
everything that you want to do. I just want you to pick one goal, draw a picture, try to label as many sounds as you can, and then try to tell me what your goal is down here. When you finish, you can have your family right underneath it what your goal is, just in case you don't get quite all of the sounds. I want you to do it all by yourself. And then after you finish, you can color it. The very last thing you're going to do with your goal page is, I'm going to ask to see if your family can take a picture of you holding your goal sheet just like this and smiling so that I can put it on our Canvas page. Remember, if you don't have a printer and you don't wanna print this out, you can just get a blank sheet of paper and write, my goal is, don't forget to take a picture of you smiling with your goal so that we can put it on our Canvas page and that um, we can share all of our goals with each other.